Check, check. Anyone hear me? Check, check. Anyone hear me? Yep, we're confirmed. So, on that note, welcome to the night show. I'm your host, your grand MC, your night of entertainment, the one, the only, TK, Diz, Isaac, Quickstep, and Orion. You know you can call me. I am your night host, the one who reads through the night tome and travels through this kingdom of entertainia to push back the sorrow and put a smile on everyone's faces. And now, the show, it's time for the show to start, and we journey on with Miles Morales, our nightly adventure of Miles Morales, where, as we now know, we're heading to final boss time. And despite how much I love to swing, we're gonna fast travel. <laughs> yeah, we're already to the final boss of Miles Morales, and this is our fifth episode. And if I'm correct, there's no DLC for this game. <laughs> yep. Which means we're almost done here. This is your last chance to upgrade your gear and abilities before the end of the story. Yes, ready to go. Although I do think there is some post game. The underground moves right in. Bin's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. This ring. Yeah, it does not. It doesn't look like it. Have a DLC. Oh no, no, it's. All right. Oh fuck, we're never we've never really been the stealthy type anyways. Hey, get back down here. Get him down here. <laughs> okay. I need to get some room. Actually, you know what? Because it's a crowd. Not the one I was going for, but I'll take it anyways. I just wanted to get rid of their, their gun support.
Oh, right. guess he was the last one. Kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those you think they would use a different generator? Which are locked and powered down. I need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. Do you really just say what I think? Well, you are a smart person. That one. Yeah, this will work. Unless I was supposed to. Wait, really? His webs don't reach. Stop it! So unless you're supposed to, suggest I'm supposed to pull it closer from. I mean, now they feel like they should reach. But apparently they don't. Are you really telling me I cannot loop it there? Bet I could web the nodes to the mobile. Conduct electricity. Just need the webs to reach. Okay, but apparently they don't. Which makes me want unless maybe I need a point launch and move. The individual ones? It doesn't look like I can move these ones at all. Okay, I guess that one works. Got it. Sticky and conducted. Gross, Miles. Let's just uh, turn that off. You two have to share. I wonder if feeling good. I still can't do this one. Well, this is gonna work. I'm confused that it is because why is this one working when the other one well then? This is working. A couple more. Okay, so the next generator is over here. Do these two have to share as well? Though I have to wonder, why is Miles just not able to absorb the energy? Okay, so that one I guess is too close or too far. There's not a generator here, I just realized. So I just linked it to one it won't work to. Perfect. Unless, if I link this, and this? 
Ha, ah, bitch. You heard me. I saw one more. I can't believe how well this is working. No, no, you should be really worried. Also, you just fucking tempted fate, like, seriously hard. Did you not learn? No, seriously, never tempt fate. Never works out well. I need to finish draining the generators. Underground's toys. Do it. L press and X to Venom Smash. Also, I just realized thing I forgot. I think it's going to be so easy just to find Finn. The exhibit was down that hall. And purple like the tinker. Bruh. There's no reason I went on the walls there. She's got to be further inside. Weird place for a cache, but whatever. Up there. We need to finish this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. Project, while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep-sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Sounds like science I don't fiction. know what the hell. Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building Pass. up to save space. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. I can understand enclosed in spaces. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. I'm not against looking around. I'm honestly just looking around. When's Rick gonna get here? 
So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. Do you have tickets That's for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks, Damn. anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. We need right. something reflective. And something we can slide under the door, but still move around. I swear, I just saw something that said pick up. Oh, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Something long and flat. Something that can be both. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Not gonna help us get past that door. The display by the aquarium about shape shifting metal. We should check it out. Sometimes I hate how the shape memory game. alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. Why is that something they let? This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Why did he even take it on that? Oh man, oh. sorry. All good. But Peter and Lucka. Let's get that door open. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. Also, can we just acknowledge that means Peter probably? Because I'm assuming this happened before the whole thing with his dad. Which means Miles met Peter before that. Genius or really, really stupid. Then again, would you remember every encounter encounter you've had at a, with a person before, especially if it was just like a minute long, not even a minute long conversation? I've seen the same people come to a grocery store, well, not a grocery store. Uh, Store that I cashiered at, and they I did not recognize them half the time. Mm, need something else? No, not quite. That one doesn't let me use the shape. Can we try that we one? Try again. That one's a no. I wonder if I'm not rotating it. That worked. We did it. Come on. Our project awaits. That is a terrible security measure, if you think about it. That was awesome. I'm like, please note, they broke in using part of the exit. Then again, this is fucking Oscorp. Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Oh, not that that's... busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Oh, that's, that's... Uh... This is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. 
Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. Yeah, this is definitely before, it's obviously. Totally a big deal. So. Okay, okay. Shit. We'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? So I'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. You ready to go? Not yet. I still haven't read everything. Are you? Our project. Oh, we. Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> and here I thought he was gonna have tickets for the both of them. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. Oh, when you realize that's the... Before. Whoa, when did you see this? What, I mean, hell, what triggered the flashback? Finn. Finn, you need to know. I'm done listening to you. Um. I'm came right in the middle of the cutscene. All right. Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. That worked. Man, why do you guys call me a knockoff? <laughs> no, I guess I can't. Not. All right. You saying? You're in very much venom position. Oh come on! This is my favorite museum. Pick up something and I still won't pet it. Do it. Yeah, I can't. There we go. Venom dash. I'm under it. Maybe I can get some work. Ooh, come on, come on. Yes! Perfect setup. Underground! 
<laughs> you guys say that like I haven't stopped you guys multiple times. Man, this guy takes a ton. Aw, oh, my invisibility faded already. I wanted to sneak up on, try to sneak up on these guys, but nope. Let's see if I can get the camouflage back. Oh, yes I can. Get out of here. That didn't work, but... to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. <laughs> Genki, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Matt, rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it to death with about a dozen people. But, but... We're breaking up. Where are you? Genki! You can hear me. Shit. I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. I've never seen a storm this bad. I think your signal's just too shit, mate. Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Did you think I hope Haley's safe? Come on, man. You're just annoying. I like that I'm seeing enemy. Not what I meant to do, but okay. I think we've already established I'm not the stealth fighter. No, I didn't. But you asked for that. Must be a silver. Can 
Venom does not grow fast. Not the times, I feel. Don't call for backup! I don't need reinforcements. I'm trying to keep it clear. Literally. that he's got the whole group. But I do think it's funny, there are like all these comments about... About, um... He's like trying to find everyone and make sure they're safe. Although it doesn't look like this storm's actually doing anything to his, um... His signal, which makes him wonder why he couldn't call Genki. Well, help. Alright, see, there's another one of those weird signals. Running through fire, not even caring. Are they still talking about the real Spider-Man? Come on, man. Okay, I ran right into that. I can't even fault that. Damn, it's like guards. I'm still on the rooftops trying to clear the rooftops. I don't want them to have sniper support. Let's go down, and because we have full, let's do this. Hey, no, not all Spider-Mans are fake. Come on, don't be rude. That's uncalled for, Magus. Come on. Okay, I was gonna launch him, but I'll take that. No, you don't. You're, you're wrong, Magus. You're wrong. Guys, listen, hey. We need to get out of here. But I can only carry some of you. Oh, what the hell is that Roxxon soldier gonna, trying to do? Spider-Man sighted. Oh. You've got more important things to do. 
He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. Aww. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people. Check every door. We don't leave anyone behind. No! You don't know what you're doing. They deserve what's coming to them. No, the reactor. Krieger changed his specs. You're not just going to destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're going to vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not going to let you lie to me again. The fact that he's, he's getting accused. I guess it's not that point. If the plasma melts down, it'll take Carla with it. Who fed you that? Krieger? I ran the number. Keep dodging. See if it helps. Yes, look, I'm dodging, though. Krieger couldn't change the reactor. He's not that smart. He's smart enough. Let me stop this. The Finn I knew cared more about protecting people than punishing them. Did you say protecting and punishing are the same thing? No, it's not. Please, Finn, I'm telling you the truth. That's a first. I shouldn't have lied to you about getting into the underground. If I could go back, you can't. Waiting for the perfect moment to hit her, though. The more weapons you build, the more I'll destroy. So oh, I can keep this up all day, Miles. Damn, it's the range of that sword. Aren't you tired yet? Not. Okay. I really gotta stop turning my back to her. How do you move so fast? Reflexes. They're not helping me much right now. She gets that sword, it's always like, damn. Honestly, you could definitely say this is the toughest fight we're in, but also you just gotta think Miles is literally fighting throughout the entire game. 
game is basically we can pretty much a Sergeret sister. Things almost exploded. Did it explode? Like, come on, Fen. You are the one person I needed on my side. I am on your side. She's got a cannon. God, what's the turn blocking? When did they have missile launchers? We have to stop the reactor. I've beaten you before. I'll do it again. Have you? Get away. Uh, what just happened there? He's determined, I'll give you that much. part I don't damn it Whoa, she keeps putting me in that. Here it is. Rick would have paid it that you turned into the paperwork. Shut up. I know you feel those shockwaves. Help me stop this. You love Rick too. How can you defend this murderer? I'm not, but I can't sacrifice Marlon to take down Krieger. That's not what I'm doing. Even if you won't see it. How she keeps doing that? Damn it, okay, that was me try trying to literally use a venom when I didn't even have it. We already said that. Jesus Christ. Good point. He's Spider-Man. Okay. Jeez. And you and the sword. Keep moving. 
How can I never seem to dodge that? I'm sorry. What the fuck? I was gonna say. No, you don't. Really, that? Not wrong. You won't stop me. Then I'll go down trying. I like that. Fight to the bitter end. Um, Not much time. I have to go. Just a little further. Yeah, I don't think I can web shoot in this. Do it, Miles. Use the whole palm, not the fingers. Steps. Get 
them far away. I can't hold this in much longer. I got the hat. Hey, get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. Oh, Harlem's own Spider-Man. It reminds me almost of the scene from Spider-Man 2, but it's it's not. The ultimate sacrifice. Save Harlem. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, I will, yeah, we know ow, who you are. I will own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Mm -hmm. Looking good, Haley. I'm oh, sorry, it's cute. This is where we come from. Yeah, we did it. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from. Yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like uh oh 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 it reminds me of bookend from the beginning of the Dude. Oh look you can see Miles in the background. I realize you probably did that. I looked away for five seconds to look for another reason, but still like you can see uh, Miles on the other so Spider-Man. Hey, Peter's back! can't get over that suit so cool. he's learned how to do it yeah you do how would you drink upside down like how careful do you need to be to somehow drink ever get easier some of it yeah 
Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man Oath. Hmm. Go time? Go time. Yeah, I was trying to f see how Peter swings it the web because I want to say Peter definitely. I again I brought this up before. Miles always swings while holding the the web. Well, I'm pretty sure Peter doesn't. He swings off the web shooter, which makes sense. So I'll hear you say, yeah, after, what, five episodes of playing through these that are two hour long episodes, this, I'm honestly surprised how quick we went through this, like, I thought the Insomniac Spider-Man was, we went through the main story for that pretty quick, but even this, like, I think this took us a lot quicker, and at least with Insomniac Spider-Man, we had the DLC. This game has no DLC. Like this game, I understand this game was supposed to be shorter, shorter, but it feels like too short. Like we barely put what ten hours in this game. Like if I did five episodes on this game, game. Dude, how the hell do you drink upside down like that? Like, I know they said carefully, but yeah, going back to my point is... Well, I, get, I do understand there's things like the post-game, a post-game, like, which I think is just another collectible side quest. Like all the other ones, but even then, that can only have so much time on the game, and honestly, you would also get pretty repetitive. I don't think I have a skip option this time, so. I'll have to let the credits play through. But yeah, overall, I do think this game is fun. Like I said, my only real main complaint is it's quick. Like, I get it, yeah, there, there's all the, like, side quests, the collectibles, like, the caches, the hideouts. But here's the thing. One, those become very repetitive anyway, so why would I constantly do them over and over? And I'm talking about that even just on a stream-wise, because that would get repetitive and boring real quick if I'm doing the same thing over and over. Also, just to note, it also feels like we do fight only, really, we only end up fighting Roxxon and the Underground. Like everyone else is, nope, nope. I don't want it just feels like it goes too quickly. I don't know. I got nothing against it, but I'm not. I don't know. But overall, I do think this is a fun game that's just interesting. I like it. I like to see more as Miles as he grows as a Spider-Man. He becomes more his kind of Spider-Man, like Carl in the Spider-Man. All oh, right, Chad. Man, I still hate that we lost him. I will say, his presence would have probably made Spider-Man 2 feel a lot better. Or not Spider-Man 2, um... Black Panther 2. Not that I... Vitals are good. Circulatory system healthy. Um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. 
Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want to could. Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said! Get him out! Now! Just anything to bring up the idea that if you forget that this is um, related to the Insomniac Spider-Man games. Because I know I heard some people say it was a standalone, but like I said, I do think this game, I like to see Miles, I like to see how he grows, I like his supporting cast. I will admit, Finn, well I do like the friendship idea they went with, that I'd like to point out for anyone who does know the comics, her character, the tinkerer, the whole thing with his... With her brother, Rick Mason, that's a completely different character than the character Finn is. I'm curious why that is. I'm not familiar with Miles' comics. I don't read comics. I've said this. I barely read mangas. But I'm wondering if they could have actually used a character from Miles's, like... What I'm looking for, like one of his own characters, instead of you know, because I want to say the Tinkerer is one of um, Peter's um, rogue gallery. I'm if I'm wrong, then don't quote me on that. I got nothing to prove if I'm right or wrong on that, but. My also bet is, get is it's possible they don't have a character in question who would work for that, which, if that's the case, yeah, that's a whole different situation. And my guess is they want to do the smart, smart character for. I mean, I got nothing against with them changing the characters. Don't think it's something like that, because, to be honest, I don't give a frick if the characters changed, but just so they have a different a variation on the character because here's the thing if the character is interesting or it works or you're not changing the character to fit some weird mentality or idea I don't see anything against it and I don't see anything about Finn not working how it's possible they literally only changed the character again just because they wanted the smart character that would make sense to go off him for miles and they didn't have a character then, like, to make it too similar to Genki. So they want to do some variation, or especially, like, why is he a surrogate? If they had kept him as Phineas Mason, would they have done, why is he a surrogate brother with just Phineas and not Genki? Or I think it's a fun game. I wish it was longer. Though. Like that says, I feel like we went through this game way too quick. Like, I did what? This is... My fourth episode, not even fifth. So I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth Jared's age. Wait, you're how old? Good heavens, man, get a real job. About this friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. They claim this young Spider-Man can do anything. <laughs> well, I just used said app to place an order of saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria. Specifying, I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of me. We shall see if our boastful boy, Spider Man, can fulfill this. Here you go, Mr. Jameson. Gotta go. Jared, call 911. <laughs> Spider Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. <laughs> Should we just acknowledge the idiocy of this guy? I got some feasting to do. Oh, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jerry. Out. Like, you literally just ordered food from Spider Man that he delivered and actually kept it for you the way you wanted. And then you're just, Spider Man broke it in and tried to set my. Why does he still have a podcast? You think people would stop listening to him?
I don't know. This definitely, I will make. Will admit, does make me kind of want to play Marvel Spider-Man 2. But unfortunately, right now, I'm not in the process of getting that game. I'm not looking into it. I am saving my money for Final Fantasy 7's remake. I think it's so f good to call it a remake. Shouldn't I say re? What was the? Fuck, what was the name of the second Final Fantasy game? Final Fantasy 7 game, I should say. Before someone thinks I'm talking about Final Fantasy 2. I'm not sure to be honest. I'm debating some things. Well, I could go through. Oh, it's Final Fantasy Rebirth. That's what I was thinking of. And honestly, I'm not sure. I'm debating going back to PC, doing a PC game as that, as an old favorite might run return to the game, or I might look through some of my games and see about doing something else. Of course, there was another game I was also debating on having as the next game as well, so... But, we're not... I want to kind of do a go for a certain situation in that.
Uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, 1899. And also, welcome. I didn't notice you come in, but like I said, I'm not sure what the next game, what next journey we'll be taking. We might return to an old journey. We might start a new one. Not sure. Right now, I'm letting the credits play out, especially because, like I said, I do think there is a post-game side quest that I do want to look into, at least. Uh, I mean, I could go back and play the first Dong and Ropa. I've been kind of wanting to preferably stick to my PS5 games, because there is quite a few PS5 and PS4 games. Because there are quite a few, and honestly, I've... Especially because we've played two out of the three Dong and Ropa games, and yes, I realize I didn't count Ultra Girls, but I'm not gonna play that one. I don't want to get into that one. And well, I could bring the summer board game one. It's basically the same board game as three. E plus, I do not have that in in a way I can stream that, so. I'd only be able to stream the first game, especially because remember we have done two and three V3, and I have no intention of playing V3 ever again. So I'm not doing a restream stream of that. I'm sorry. V3 was like I can understand people didn't like everything that happened in the Nongaropa three anime, but V3 was like what the f fuck was the director's thinking? And I get it. I get it. V Nongaropa three had some things that people didn't like. Some of it was not thought out well. Some of it was whatever. But hey, it still gave us Yukazomi. Yukazomi, and she was an amazing teacher. But, you know, no, V3 was, was garbage. It was horrible. It was dumb. The, oh, this was a reality show was a stupid angle. And I'm almost sad. That's outside of the summer game, one where they went out to the beach. The fact that we have not had another Danganronpa game since then just Makes me so sad. Because here's the thing. Danganronpa is a very crazy, insane series with a cast of characters that are... Well, probably the best way I can say it, crazy. But at least it was fun. And sure, sure, there's some aspects people didn't like. Like, for example, apparently Junko's whole... How did she make all these people fall to this... Really spare video... Okay, I get it. How people see that's utterly ridiculous. She had a despair video. But here's the thing. Do you really want to tell me a 60... Or however the hell old girl go was supposed to be... Would somehow be able to... One by one, break an entire class to bring them into despair. And then a whole bunch of other people and the entire rest of the world. There's... Well, I can see her breaking up some people in at times but you gotta admit there is no way that you could actually say she broke every single damn person to make them fall in despair like you can say she used brainwashing is ridiculous but let's be honest this is the dong and ropa series everything is almost half the time ridiculous stupid and dumb but it's not the most insane stupid thing like honestly her brainwashing people made the most made quite a lot of sense but V3, uh, I, V3 was just what the fuck. It was a cast of character that were unmemorable, honestly, one-dimensional, stupid, dumb, and honest to God, just didn't fucking work. Like, I'll give you some shit. Like, for example, and just even how they played for certain ideas, like. For example, when they rehashed, when things of you noticed how the game is rehashed, like for example, the third victim is usually not seen so as like the most, the worst of the reasoning. So like Celestia yeah, wanted to ki wanted did the kill for money. Okay, that's at least implying she was following her dream, and it's also. Hinted that it was maybe she's still lying for a reason and she had other reasons for it. Okay, that's whatever. Not everyone could be 
a perfect killer. Like, we got to be despairing about it. Like, oh, tomorrow. Like, they had good reason for it. Like, how in the first killer, Mazano Saika, she was that freaked out about her bandmates and the video she was given. Or how Mondo did it by pure unintentional and a berserk button was triggered by a kid who basically looked up to the guy and his own fear. Or for the second game, it was Terra Terra who was at least trying to stop Nagato from killing someone. And Peko was trying to serve as a tool, tool for V2, but and even V2, it was literally implied because Junko, Mikan was restored back to her despair self. And Mikan was also implied to be, you know, not the best just because she was regularly bullied. So what does V3 give us for our villain who's... Our killer who was a villain? The freaking creepy, incestuous, weird... Possessed, wants to send his sister 100 friends and somehow is treating them. I don't fucking want to know. Who thought that one was a good idea? Not only, it was just other cast of characters that just wasn't interesting or didn't care for. Like, honestly, even a guy like, as much people say, like, Suichi was supposed to grow into being the stronger protagonist, I never really thought he grew. Like, honest to God, if you ask me, what would have been a better twist with even the idea, oh, they killed off the protagonist, is they should have treated Suichi as the protagonist from the beginning. He's revealed to have killed the first victim. Um, and then we're replaced with Kaede as the real protagonist, because that would have been a twist. Because Suichi, despite the fact that, you know, Makoto and Hajime were the... Protagonists had both dissimilar styles of protagonists. They also had a reason for that. You know, Downlock didn't consider themselves anything special and were the seekers of truth in a way. Especially one of them literally wasn't anything special. He was a normal, everyday kid. No ultimate talent. Unless you count, yes, the whole Izumaku, or whatever the fuck the guy's name, the ultimate ultimate. Also, I gotta be honest, I still think Super High School Level was a lot better of a title than Ultimate. Because it at least more... Because Ultimate implies, you know, best of the best. That's like they're the greatest of all time. Well, Super High School at least just implies more. They're skilled, but there are other people better than... Because nowhere in implied, you know, the original game was implied they were the best of the best. I mean, for... What was it? The Psychic dude only apparently had like a one... In, three chances of being right in his his um with his predictions which is sad for an ultimate which is supposed to buy best no I, I think it i don't think it's just how they said in the end i think that's a dubbing issue or translation But I'm still saying, I like, I especially, I started with the anime. That's also one of the reasons I'm never in a, in a, in a rush to play Danganronpa 1. Because I watched the anime. Hell, the only reason I originally bought Danganronpa 2 is because, despite it having a sequel hook, the writer of the, um, or whoever, one of the, I want to say director, said they were not going to make a Danganronpa 2 anime because he thought it would just be fan service. Which I find is a really weird thing. Like, you can literally make an anime based off one of your games in that dimension, because why not? Like, fuck, what? Ha Scott Pilgrim, what, that was a comic. It has now an anime made on Netflix, which is actually pretty quite nice. I would check it out if I were... If you, and just, it's only eight episodes. I actually would love, love for them to get a season two. But you can make an anime adaptation, tell the story you want to tell, and literally, or even has a live-action movie. Are those not fans... And, and a video game, so... Would those not be considered fan service? I don't know. I would say Dungeon Rope is definitely a series, but I have a game potentially in mind. Like I said, it's an old one for the channel, or I might just look over my PlayStation games and see about potentially streaming another. It also depends on one other aspect, but yeah.
Dungropa is not one, unfortunately, I was thinking of, and damn, I wonder how long these credits have been going on for. So many credits. I'm kind of curious for all as we wait for the credits to end and and then depending on how long these credits and what the post game is and if it's any inter interesting we might have another episode where we try to clear at least some of those events and like landmark and I don't even know what to collect those landmarks like side stuff damn I can't even think of a good way to call them I never just answered my question. I just realized I got distracted thinking over the whatever the hell this side contents is about. Like, 
out of all the games we've played on this channel, if you've been one of our watchers who've only maybe seen one or two of the games, what are the games that have you that have left the most impressions or have been memorable for you? Have you enjoyed the games like God of War, this Spider-Man game, as it was already about Danganronpa, back when we were playing the various Pokemon fan games as we were just starting out on this little the show of mine? Anything from the between? So far, the only game I've really had any issue with was V3. The game has such interesting designs, characters, and premise, but then you just screw it all over. Come on, mate. Uh, for the credits? Looks like that's it for the credits. I will say this for Finn. She works for almost the same idea as Octavius, as someone who was basically consumed by their vengeance. Congratulations, you have finished the main story, but the adventure continues. You can now visit, revisit previously completed missions with mission replay in the pause menu, or previously completed friendly neighborhood Spider-Man activities in the... I'm not going to read that again. You can now change the time of day and the afternoon use. You can start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty for added chunch or start a new game plus to restart with all your gear and skills unlocked in new ones. I do not see any reason why we would do that. Hey, Ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? You just left Trinity Church. You guys just low on my team. And... Tell yeah, we did not. You saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick. I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him... I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she That's was. That's what I'm always And why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? Si. Te quiero. All right, I guess while we're waiting to do the side quest, where was it? Uh, see, is there one nearby us? All right, I guess we'll do the stealth Spider-Man. Because like I said, I think there's supposed to be a... S uh, okay, since it needs fast travel. Oh, 
Also, because I can see new suit. What the hell is the cat's pajamas side mission? Especially we did. I'm confused on that one. Why do you keep changing the suit? I'll be sure to send you a message on Oh, I guess that's it. You can now replay complete missions. Press X to continue. All right, let's do this. Hey, um, is this Spider-Man? It's Dale from the bodega. I hope this is an okay this time to call. Anymore, mean it's Dale, to by the way, nice. <laughs> from the bodega. <laughs> hey, Dale, what's up, man? Hey, listen, Spider-Man. My, my Spider-Man, you know, my cat, he took a liking to you. Oh, yeah, I like him too. Good cat. So, you know, I just wanted to say, if you wanted to come by and hang out with him sometime, or like take him for a walk or a swing or something, <laughs> you know, that, that'd be okay. That's all I'm saying. For sure. I'd love to chill with him. Thanks, Tail. Oh, man, that's great. I'd love, I mean, he'd love that. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider Man. See you soon. Tail's great, man. Love that guy. Not sure why, but let's fast travel to him. Wait, is it two? Hmm. You can be invisible whenever. Let's go see what's the story behind this. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider Man. You ready to swing, Spider Cat? Huh. You two look great. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just amazing. We can literally swing with a cat on our back, with, with Spider-Man on us. That is amazing. As much as I, I miss the, um, what was it? The uh, hat and scarf. Hey, Miles. I'm catching up on. Yikes. Kind of a backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest with a Spider Man? Nope. Speaking of which, I'm not going to be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? to find a job <laughs> freelancing with the bugle was great but i'd like something steady have you thought about teaching you're pretty good at it <laughs> honestly no hmm. no maybe i'll think about it call you soon all right i guess let's since there's only three of these let's do this Will push all your movement skills to their limit. Approach the prompt, and we'll get started. Fast and loose, let's go. Okay. Sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith. Oh, man, I missed it. Completely missed it. Okay, yeah, that's not working. To be fair, I don't think the timing is...
Maybe sprinting straight up a building to find all that for laws of gravity. That comes pretty close. Oh man, I got this! I got this! Okay, where's the next one? I don't see it. Where's the next? No, seriously, I don't see where the next one is. Is it above me? Oh, map. Right. It is kind of fun as well. I've still yet to actually see the next one I'm supposed to be going to. Why is it down here? Yeah, not our best timing. Oh damn, there's three. Okay, so maybe I won't go do that one because this, I'll do this instead. For a scavenger hunt. Happy birthday, Miles. Ready for the best scavenger hunt ever? Here's the first clue. Face in the park with the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Is this actually his birthday? I'm going to check this out. See what mom put together. Should get out of here. Not what I want to do, but okay. Been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. Those trips are really fun. It's weird to think about now. We're already max level. We're max level at 20. I'm sorry, but that's just shows the the lowness of this level of this game's level. Well, it's because we haven't done this. Technically now I maxed out all these, but they're only unlocked in New Game Plus. Okay then. What was I looking for? So there's a postcard in here, but let's go get this one. One's dead, because I can't see where the other ones are. Mm, you're weirding me out. Hello, Prisa. Okay, Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, 
facing the park with the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. Might be what that clue means. I don't. What's are they talking about? I mean, I don't even think we're in the right area. Is this the globe they're talking? That's not a globe. Maybe it's the, we have to get this. How do I tell where the, it's not in here though. Ah, then again, it could be just talking around because I don't see any other postcard prompts. She said, Stat. Oh my God. But there's not very many statues here. Unless maybe it's further down. Not sure why I launched there, but okay. I'm so confused. Nothing here. Hello. There's this statue right here. I know I keep going back to this, but this is the only one that makes sense to me. Happy facing the park, world on our shoulders, we guard the next clue. Well, I mean, it's right here. Every time I keep scanning, I don't see sh what the clue is. Unless, are you telling me you have something? That she's going green makes me think she has some. Another postcard under here. What? Where? Oh my God! There was one here. This one's of the Empire State Building. I atop the Empire State. You'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Dad. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way. Celebrate 16. Tour down memory. Remember that summer you can't force me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Aww. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now. But I would have never made it to 18 without you. Anytime I'd see you again, I'd feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. Aww. Then, 
now Genki will always have family. Oh, I guess maybe Genki is considered a bit of a cigarette brother. Which also, again, might go back to the idea why they, um, they went with making her... Well, maybe because they don't want to do two cigarette brothers, but... Make it seem less special. Again, or maybe they decided because they just they wanted to. Honestly, in the end, is really doesn't that matter that much. Now what they did to Taskmaster, fuck. Man, they should not have done that in the MCU. She was. Oh, I didn't get to hear the last thought. Now you top the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. Maybe the clues about the binoculars on the observation platforms. Come on, go. Man, what you did at that reactor? Incredible! Okay, mentioned the binoculars. Oh, you had to order one. Looks suspicious. Martin Art Museum in Greenwich. I remember that place. Find the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hmm. Fifth grade field trip. Empire State Building. I shot it. <laughs> Never agreed to wrangle a bus full of ten-year-olds, son. It took us three hours to get here, and when we did, who showed up? The webhead himself. Mm. The vulture. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. The thing I remember most, though, you wanted to stay. You told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that fighting spirit. See you at the next clue. Born hero. I think I learned to be a hero from watching Dad. I miss him, especially now. Hmm. All right, let's go and fast travel to the next one. Museum keep a fossil on the balcony facing the river. It's worth a look. Uh, what? I got nothing. Unless are we supposed to go down? I was thinking about which Spider-Man is best. And with the verdict? Well, the new Spidey has electric powers and a more stylish suit, but the OG Spider-Man is taller and his webs are funny. Subway that way. Okay. That's clearly not it. Like, this makes the only... He said the porch.
But I'm not seeing anything here. And as far as I can tell, there wasn't anything on this one either. There's no art on this one. God, if that, I'm missing it somewhere. What the? It was on here. Where money is king, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. I had to practically drag you and Finn to the modern art museum the first time you came. What do we care about splotchy paintings? But your mom and I knew. We had to show you kids that there were different ways of looking at the world. Sometimes, radically different. When I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, heads craned up and all, I knew you got it. All that orange and gold. Don't think you ever realized the world could look that way. That you could look that way. Like royalty. Proud of you making mm -hmm. it this far. Let's see how you do it the next one. Finn and I talked about that trip. Alright, now where's the next one? Where's the next one? There we go. Gotta catch a movie. Why do you show the underground? Who's boss? Could you, like, do something? <laughs> Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth integrity and facts do I've been you tough on this new spider-man since the disaster on braithwaite bridge for good reason the kid screwed things up so bad even the original model would have blushed redder than his costume the classic one not that ugly new thing but today i must also acknowledge that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him a hero. Sounds so hard. With an unstable like he energy just source doesn't know how to throw. Wiping Harlem off the map. This youthful spider man reportedly stepped in and saved lives. Or at least that's what his supporters want us to think. The real truth is that none of this would have happened if he hadn't donned a ridiculous suit and started swinging willy nilly around the city performing reckless acts of violence. Hero? That like makes no sense because there's nothing to base off ah. that Jared argument, but it's JJ. So what do you expect? Jared, I said open up the lines. What do you mean they're open? Well, something must be wrong. Folks, we're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yeah, I can see why uh, Jonah's having issues with this show. All right, let's continue with the postcard. Oh, clue. All right, CLDBs, let's hunt. Hanging among the lights. Hmm. Who was doing that? Maybe it's between the lights and that speaker. Mm -hmm. 
lights in the speaker. How the hell do you pick this? Why did you pick these up? Nestled beneath Star Vescent, it was a monster of a good meal. Spend half my youth in CODB, the uncle. Every musician we loved played at this camp on stage. Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me to soften the blow. Never poisoned the place for me. Never took it here because of it. I regret that. Aww. I love it. Just like I did. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything. My tree. Come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Miles. Yeah, I was gonna bring you to well. a show. Man. Need a minute after hearing that. That's depressing. All right, now where's the next one? Right there. Yeah, we'll probably just continue with and finish off the pro card. Just as one little final finale to Miles Morales. Which is I feeling is fitting, like I said. Kind of did this with uh, Lobster bills. with uh, Insomniac Spider Man, the first one, the remastered. Pretty sure I know which monster he means. Next clue must be on Bill the Lobster. Guy is pretty monstrous. How the hell do I tell where Bill the Monster is? Wow, I launched. Way not where I meant to go. I meant just to get on top of him. Oh, here's the clue. Sheesh. I know this place. Art space on the upper east side. Alberto? No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. The other Spider-Man I said hi. Woo! Oh, lobster bills. Home away from home. Always reminded me of the Graham's kitchen down south. Took your mom here on our first date. And just about every date after that. Even once when she was pregnant with you. And she went into labor right before this event. I blame the Cajun trip. She was less of a fan oh, after that. But go I'm not gonna lie, you. son. Some of those nights working late. Oh yeah, I'm stopping in for some fried oil. Don't tell you me. Mom totally knew he was stopping. Hmm. No, I like that. Like, you know, I mean, we all have our favorite places to go to. Remember, there was oh, I always went to um. Fuck, I'm not seeing the next card. Oh, there it is. There's always, when I went to, before I go to a movie, I always go to Noodles and Company or, or, uh, Lian Chin. And of course, I always, always enjoyed going to Buffalo Wild Wings. There was at one point I would always get the same waitress. She was a nice lady. Miles, I did it. I figured it out. How to safely split an atom from the comfort of your own home? That's next on my to-do list. No, speed nonagon. Collision model is updated. Projectile. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Stabilized. It's awesome now. Which means I can play it? Uh, it still needs textures, sound effects, music, VO. He's supposed to be designing a game. I could probably do sound effects too. First we improve and design our own spider suit. Now we build a mobile game empire. We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm out doing spider things, but when I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking sound effects you'll need, ooh, and sketching out a score. Yeah, woo! Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude. 
There's the art space. Okay. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Should and check that. the gates around the building. Gates. Around one of these. Wow. Clue. CJ Walker Park. I know this place up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Man, not ready for this to be over. Hmm. Damn, we already got seven. You and Finn joked it felt like a royal coronation when we saw the art space building. Your mom and I were so proud. Our son and our almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. I know it made you sad, both of you, to go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One clue left. Bet you can't wait to get to the end. Ben and I did find each other again. Just not the way Dad thought. That's just harsh. Walker Park. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. And this is the last one. Man, so many memories. And so we come to the end. CJ Walker Park. Remember when we played ball here in the summers? Your uncle showed you how to take it to the rack. Well, I demonstrated how to throw it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley you to your mom. This place reminds me that it's crazy as life gets. Only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. Oh. birthday miles congratulations you made it to the end you are the reason i'm brave i'm relaying hey miles what's up hey mom I just finished the scavenger hunt thank you so much for putting it together for a little while it was like he was back he never left me i love you Damn. i love you ma get yourself like a mom like <sighs> rio i wonder did we get a suit for that Well, with that, that is the end of our Spider-Man Miles Morales journey. We might not have to see Spider-Man until Marvel 2. Spider-Man 2. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed our show. Favorite, follow, like, spin around. If you know others, you would be... I'll let this play out first. you were swinging, I hope. Sorry. Scolding mentor mode, downshifting. What did you think of the article? The article was great. The pictures... Eh, where did they get this Peter Parker guy? <laughs> I'm sure MJ asks herself that all the time. So how was the trip? Did you have the pseudo while you were out there? Nah, Sable handled it like a champ, her and her wild pack. I mostly got to stand around taking pictures. 
Yeah, sounds like a nice break. As much as a work trip can be. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling refreshed and ready to do some next-level Spider-Man. And clean out the gutters at my house. <laughs> Being a homeowner is glamorous, let me tell you. Sounds like it. I'll let you go. Talk soon. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed our show. Share your favorite photo. Follow like, spin around. Don't forget to subscribe. It can only help the channel. Till next time. The show's over and the journey ends.